Right, so I'm going to show you the how to detect the wanna crypt malware. Uh, so, so if we just have a quick look at the Wireshark trace, what we should see is a whole lot of connections that it makes. So there's one there, two, one, three, sixty-one, sixty-six, one, six-six, and it's making a connection on nine zero zero three. Okay, if we want, we can actually look at all the connections it's making in Wireshark. Flags dot k is equal to zero. Okay, so that's when it's sending a sin. So here are all the connections that it makes. Some on nine zero zero three eighty four four three nine one zero one, and so on. Okay, and there's the IP addresses that it's connecting there. So what we need to do is in Snort is to be able to um, take a note of these and the ports it's connecting to and then create rules for it. We can also make sure that on our firewall these connections are blocked. So what I've done here is created a rules file. We can see here it's detecting the sin flag and there's a number of rules there and it's detecting a certain IP address on a certain port. So the way we would normally run Snort is offline just to test our rules. Okay, so in this case I'm taking the rules file uh, with the minus C option, the PCAP that we looked at there. And I'm going to run that through and see if we get any alerts. Okay, so so if you're running this from here, what you'll find is that it comes up with that type of alert. So we need to create a log a log folder that it's going to put in the alert.ids. Run it through, and we see there are nine alerts. Okay, so we'll just have a look, see what those are. And then they are there. Okay, so you can see there. There's one connection. There's another address, and another one, and so on. Okay, so we've easily managed to detect the the malware. Any one of these is telltale sign that the malware exists.